denied the revenge of the Sith. Hello everybody, this is Professor Hake and his good friend Eric. Hello Eric, how are you? Eh, eh, oh, eh, eh. Correct. <laughs> and we are going to explain the moves of the knights. Right. The knight is a very powerful soldier in any war. Uh, every cavalry is very powerful because the knight is very elusive. Uh, as you can see here, it begins in the column B and G and is positioned between the rook and the bishop. Okay, Yari, can you explain how to move our knight? Definitely. Yeah. The knight moves in an L-shaped form. It moves two pieces forward or two pieces back, of course, and one to the left and one to the right. So, that's one, two, three, or also some people move one forward and one diagonal. So you have an L-shaped form. Okay. Or and this way as well. And can we explain how many squares can the knight control from the center of the board? Yes, it can control eight squares from the center of the board if uh, those squares are not occupied, of course. Let's see them. Right. Okay. So we have from here one, two, three. Right. Oh. And we have one, two, three. Excellent. One, two, three. All right. And we have. You can also do this way. You can do one to the left or one to the right, and then up two. Oh yes. Same thing. One, two, three. Okay. One to the left, two up. All right. One, two, three. Excellent. And finally, one, two, three. Or you can go one in diagonal. All right. Fantastic. So there are eight positions from the center of the board. But look at this, it's really interesting. Look at the knight, mm -hmm. it is in a, on a white square, so all the square. It can control are black. Correct. But if our knight is on a black square, automatically shift all the pieces, all, all the squares. The net can controls are white. They change the color of the square. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Eric, can you tell us if the if the knight is so powerful in all the positions of the chessboard? Uh, not in all the positions. The most powerful will be in these squares here. Anywhere from here, it's the most powerful. But outside of that area, they are less powerful because they control less squares. Okay, let's try in one side of the chessboard. All right, okay. easy. So we have one, two, three. Yes. One. one, two, three. Yes. One, two, three. Excellent. And then one, wait, sorry. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, that's good. That's good. I was trying so, to do the diagonal. From, from this position, from one side, instead of eight, there are only four positions. And what happens in a corner, Eric? The Let's corner, see. yes, very limited, extremely limited. One, two, three. Yes, and just two. Wow, only two positions, so it's not very powerful in a corner, right? Okay. All right, Eddie. Can you tell us how to capture with the with the help of the knight? Definitely, very easy. Uh, all you have to do is just move again the L-shaped form one, two, and capture the piece, taking its square. All right, and I think there is another special feature with our special superpower of the of the knight. Correct. Yes. It has the ability to jump over either your piece, your pieces, or your opponent's pieces. It doesn't mm. matter which piece it is. It can do what a knight does, a, a horse, and it gallops and jumps. So one, two, three, just like so. All right. As we all know, we can start the game with our knights because they can jump over our pieces. So we can start the game like this or like this. It is better like this because the knight has more moves like here, as I said before, as Eric said before. So thank you for watching. Thank you, Eric. See you soon. Bye-bye.